What is up guys? This is your boy Cripsy J and today I just want to make another video, give you guys an update, talk about some things, what we've been doing. As you can tell, I'm super tired, I am stressed out, I'm pushed to the edge right now, and I really don't want to be working on the car anytime soon. I'm tired, I am burnt, I'm turning black, I am, yeah, I'm super tired, so... I'll give you guys an update of what's been going on. Um, I called up the homie Justin to come take a look at the hatch, see if we can figure it out. Um, we need to calibrate the TPS. We got the car started for like five seconds, but it just keeps killing itself. Um, he's messing with a tune that he's been messing with. Um, he's just turning up fuel and doing some other stuff. Um, my fuel pump is making some weird noises now. I have no clue why. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know why it's making weird noises. Uh, it wasn't making weird noises before, but it's making weird noises now. Um, I had to buy new sensors. Uh, I got a new TPS. Good thing because the old TPS was broken. I also bought a new map sensor just in case if that was bad or something. So I just ordered to buy it and make sure that it's new. Um, wasn't that. Um, but yeah, the car is running for like five seconds. It starts and dies. Um, what else? Uh, we found out that our, our positive was getting ground somewhere, and we're just luckily that it didn't caught a fire. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we're just tracing back on the wiring. Um, the only thing that we did was undo my kill switch because apparently it was grounding out the power. But even with that, um, the car doesn't start. That's what I'm gonna just say. The car doesn't start if the fuel pump is not constantly on. I don't know why. Uh, it's always been like this when we first got it. Uh, that's how I even got the car home. It's because we grounded out the fuel pump to stay on. And we got the car started. Um, if the fuel pump is not on, the car struggles to start. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I believe the owner before me had this issue. That's why he wanted to give up. But we solved that issue by grinding out the ground, or grinding out the fuel pump to stay on. And we got it to where it'll start every time. And now I have no clue on what's going on. I don't know if it's the tune or what, but the car does not want to start. Or it does, but it'll just stay alive for five seconds, kill itself. Or it'll just keep cranking. So that is where we're at. Um, I thought I jumped timing. Um, there is a possibility because I did not check it. But every time when the car starts, it sounded fine. So I'm not 100% sure. But I would like Cody to take a look at that when he has a chance. Uh, I really want to take my car to his shop because, like I said, Cody is the old owner of the car. And he probably knows more of that car than me. So, yeah. Um, just waiting for him to give me a text back whenever he's free. Get my car in. Pay him however much to get the car back on running. And we'll go from there. Um, but, yeah. That's pretty much what we've been doing. We've been just doing a lot of testing and pinpointing things out. Um, I feel like we're not getting anywhere. I just feel like we're just looking for more problems that's gonna appear. I like, I know I need a new harness, but I don't wanna pay 600 bucks for a new harness. And you guys are probably gonna be like, why you wanna spend 600 on a harness when you can get a stock one and spice it up? No, I don't wanna spice it up. If I pay $600, all I gotta do is plug and play. And if you wanna do a case swap, the easiest way to get a case swap started, first try, is buy everything that's plug and play. And you don't have to worry about anything else. They said that. After watching Honda Street Garage doing his build on this case series, he said that a case swap is not that hard to swap. If you get everything right and everything's plug and play, it should start right up from the rip. Now, I don't know what's going on with my car, where it don't start, it could be the tune, it could be the wiring, it could be something. But if I wanted to do this the right way, 
of redoing a key swap, I would have to drop 600 bucks on just a harness and have it be plug and play because that would be the best bet and I'll probably solve a lot of most of my issues. But do I have 600 bucks to spend? No, I do not. I am still in college. I still got student debt. I got a lot of things to do. Uh, I work hella hours for what? I'm only making maybe less than a hundred bucks a day. So yeah, that is where I'm at. Only got two days off a week and the most random days ever. And it's very stressful. And this is a daily life for me. And I'm not gonna lie, this is probably not my lowest point, but one of my saddest points because my project is not running. I'm working hella and I can't even put half of that money towards the hatch because I have no clue on what's going on with it. So that is where I'm at. I don't know why my freaking camera is so blurry, but I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys like the video. I'm gonna get this shit edited, have it rendered. And upload it for you guys for having y'all something to watch and support my channel. I uh, thank you guys very much. I think we're at like 760, 770. I don't know where we're at right now. Um, I haven't checked. I just got a lot of notifications on who's been subscribing lately. But I want you guys to leave a comment. I'll give you guys a shout out in the next video. And until I see you guys, peace. I'ma throw it back, we gon' run up a sack Pullin' on some bands, got a whole lot of that In my brother, little case, we gon' bounce right back Pullin' on the top, I got an SK in the